Hey everybody, my name is Adam, manager of Geek Powered by Freedom. And I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit funny, I, it is the morning and I am a bit congested. But in this video I wanted to bring you my unboxing slash opening slash whatever of my very first 1UP box. I brought you my unboxing of the Hero Crate in a previous video. And that was my very first subscription crate. And this is my second one. This is the one up box. Except it looks like there was an issue in shipping. And from what I hear, a lot of people that got this month's one up box had a very similar issue. So I don't know if the USPS managed to just crash an entire shipment and just not worry about it or what. But we're going to hope everything is intact inside. The box is really neat, however, so I would certainly like to... I'm hoping December's isn't like this and I will get to keep the box so I can use it for like a video backdrop or something like that. But let's go ahead and get it open. If you don't know what 1UP box is, it's one of the cheaper monthly subscription crates. It is, I believe it was $9.99 a month when I subscribed, but it's, it's went up a little bit. It's now like $13 a month, but that's still better than the like $30 that some of the ones like Hero Crate are. So we're going to go ahead and get it open and see what's inside. Here on the top panel, it does say share, don't forget to brag about it amongst your peers. Mission objective, make friends jealous, take a picture, share it, hashtag 1UPBOX or at 1UPBOX. That's what all the subscription crates are going for now, so you can... It's a good strategy to help people drive business to their product because it means taking pictures and attracting people. The little postcard that comes inside says November Pixel Legacy. And then it lists what's inside. So we're gonna go ahead and pull out what's inside here. We have a little five inch plush with a little keychain attachment if you wanted to use it for the tag of Mario. It's a me, a Mario. I like it. It does say on the tag it is Super Mario. So from the Super Mario set. And it is designed by a company that I cannot pronounce, distributed in North America by Little Buddy. But so you get a little plushie for Mario because he's of course the granddaddy of pixel games and platformers. He's gonna go right there with my link for now. And then on the little card it has a little factoid. It says, know your characters. Mario first debuted in the arcade game Donkey Kong in 1981. He was known as Jumpman, whose pet ape Donkey Kong escapes and kidnaps Pauline, known today as Princess Peach. Donkey Kong, or Mario, Donkey Kong, Samus, and Link are the oldest standing Smash veterans who appeared on the NES in the 80s. So in case you didn't know that about Mario. Alright, next up, we have ourselves a t-shirt. That is in my size, good to see. Oh, that is awesome, I hope I can... It is the 80s Pixel Veterans T. And of course, they're standing on an NES, but then it has Mario, Samus, Link, and then the pixel 8-bit version from the NES of Donkey Kong and Mario, Samus, and Link. So, that is awesome. And as I said before, you are certainly going to be seeing me wear this in another video. I love little custom graphic tees. And this one is amazing. Alright, set that aside for a moment. Next up we have... A Pixel Terrain mouse pad. This is of course like a Mario or Mario. Wow. No, fail. This is a Minecraft dirt grass block, so that is pretty nifty. We I, I, I love having unique mouse pads around my setup, so I will certainly make sure it finds use. For my mouse specifically, I need a bit of a bigger mouse pad, but I may swap it out for choose at some point. My fiance choose. Um It is quite a bit faded, especially compared to the picture on the little corner of the little paper here that's the full color that's actually in Minecraft this is a bit faded out but that's frankly totally okay graphics don't always look the best on mouse pads and it's still very very clear what it is and the mouse pad feels very high quality it's not like a piece of paper attached to the front it's still going to you know it's not just gonna wear off or something it feels like a quality mouse pad so I'm happy with that because sometimes that's hard to come by Next, we have ourselves... Oh, wow. Okay. They're very dirty, and I'm assuming it's from where the box has been open. But we have what's called a retro makeover. And you have... 
pixel shades and a pixel mustache for Luigi's mustache. So you can put it on. They do actually fit my head. And I believe this, I'm not gonna take it off yet. Yeah, I believe the mustache is a sticker. So in theory, if you wanted to put it on, you could wear it. Or you could just stick it on something because people like mustaches nowadays. There's like this whole fad or having mustache keychains and stuff that I don't really understand, but. So cool little mustache and awesome little pixel shades for the win. And lastly, we have Mamma Mia Super Plumbing, which has little Mario on it with a plumber, broken toilet, man eating flowers, turtle infested sewer, we've got you covered. Mario, 11 1 up Fox Avenue <laughs> in the Mushroom Kingdom. And then it's got this little toilet plunger, which is actually a stand for your phone apparently. So let me, so if I plunge it down here, set my phone on it, boom. It is a phone stand. Now, it's not gonna be quite as effective for standing my phone vertically, but setting it up to watch something, that's really cool. And you get it to be a plunger, because why not? You could also stick it on your phone and pick your phone up with it, but it will drop in a second, so. Or not. It's got some decent suction on it here. Huh. So that is my very first one up box. Oh, hello. We got. A Super Mario plushie, which is awesome. A Minecraft grass block mouse pad. A Mamma Mia Super Plumbing plunger to stand my phone on. Pixel shades and a pixel mustache. And a pretty freaking awesome 80s pixel veteran t-shirt. I'm very satisfied with everything that came in this box. I mean, this is pretty much on level with the amount of stuff that would come in the Hero Crate. But like I said, it's a lot cheaper. It's in a lot cheaper option. If you are interested in checking it out, I would honestly assume that most of their boxes aren't gonna be as beat up as this one. Um, I highly, I would recommend it for nine or 12 bucks that it's worth getting. Um, if you're interested in signing up for it, we will have links to their stuff in the description below. I highly recommend you do it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm a huge fan of these monthly subscription crates now, which is going to be terribly painful for my wallet. Catch you in the next video. What subscription crate box should I check out next? Let me th know that in the comment section down below.